Well there, this is Dave Motohead again, out in the garage, working on the, the Rampy Project, the big monster Rampy Project. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be taking the wheel bearings apart, and the rear axle wheel bearings apart, and greasing them up and inspecting them and make sure that they're okay for the road. I uh, already did one, and so I'm going to do the next one. Anyway, so let me show you what I'm doing. This right here is the rampy rear axle. I've got the engine out of it. The engine's almost ready to go in. Uh, doing the brakes and the uh, and the wheel bearing. Anyway, you can see that's the wheel bearing right there. And uh, you can see it spins around. And it's a uh, spherical. So it'll, it'll wobble like that. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire brush like this. But I'm going to do it... Uh, the easy way I'm going to take the the uh, wire wheel and I'm going to clean all this stuff up and make it to where when I take it apart it's not all jacked up so uh, I'm going to do that first and then I'll get right back with you okay I went through and clean that axle up and uh, it looks pretty good now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this guy off right there that's like a dust shield and uh, I have to thank Dave Palmer for helping me on this. I called him. I've never done these axles before, these wheel bearings. But uh, he showed me how to do it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop that off. So let me put the hat cam on. And uh, I got me a special bent screwdriver here that I bent years ago. And it comes in handy for everything. Anyway, I'm just going to get in here like this and pry on that on each side. And it should come come loose go on the bottom a little bit just kind of work it you don't want to do it too much because it's it'll there you go you can slide that up there and the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna somebody's had these apart before and they riveted them there you can see the rivets in there well I don't trust other people's work so I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna go as close as I can and I'm gonna cut that rivet off And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a hammer and a little chisel and I'm going to chisel the rest of that thing off of there. Chisel this one off there. I think those stock ones have rivets but these are they got it nice and flush. And then I think I should be able to maybe take this bad ride and go up. We'll turn this to where I've got the hole on top. I should be able to go up in there and tap that rivet out. There goes one. And there goes. There goes two. Okay, so now I got that off of there. Now this one, like that. Now this should be two different pieces. There's actually a dust shield on there. I'll uh, take this, you can separate this one too. Go in there and just, you know, work it a little bit. So you don't really need to separate it, but I'm gonna separate it just because I'm here. check out and see what's in there come on baby just kind of go around and pry it without bending it up too bad you see it's already bent from the last guy who did it so I'm gonna straighten that once I got it apart that's why I want to get it off here just gotta work it a little bit at a time so you don't so you don't bend crap all up come on baby there we go see that's like the dust shield and you can see it's all bent right there so I'm gonna straighten that before I put it back on I'm gonna just stick that up in there so it's out of the way and then what you got here is you got your inner race bearing right there 
and you want to inspect that to make sure there's no pits in it and uh, you got your outer part of the bearing right there and there's another there's your barrel bearings right there you can see and uh, these are kind of dry actually so I'm glad I took this apart and I'm gonna pack that with grease and uh, to get to these inner bearings here I'm going to stick a I have a needle on a grease gun and I'm just gonna stick it down in there like that I'm gonna pump it full of grease you see the grease coming out got that in between the bearing and we're just gonna slowly go around and pump that whole thing full of grease it's going right underneath the bearing there Anyway, that's about all there is to it. And uh, anyway, I'm going to clean this up and inspect it a little bit more. And uh, there is a little rubber seal right in here. I don't know if you can see that too well. There's a rubber seal right there. But uh, I'm going to pack this bearing all full of grease. And then when I get done with that, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got my bearing all packed full of grease there. Went in with my needle and fingers and everything and cleaned it all up and patched it all up and so you got your bearing you got your races you got your outer race you got your dust cover and your little dust seal and I went through and I don't know if you can see that but it's all nice and straight now I did a little bit of body work on that thing to straighten that big dent out of it all right let me put the hat cam back on the next thing that I'm gonna do or that I did was I made screws for this thing if you see here I found some little button head screws and uh, you know little, little screws here to I'm gonna screw it back together I'm not gonna use uh, a rivets like the last guy did but if you see here they don't fit they don't fit through the hole there's a hole right there they don't fit through that hole and they don't fit through this hole up in here which uh, I should get my flashlight maybe you can see there's a hole in the backing plate so when this thing is bolted all together, when it bolts in on these four bolts here, that it sits you know, flush and, and those little holes are for, you know, a rivet or whatever to go through. So as you can see here, you can get me a new Chinese chair. That won't go through the hole. And you see it'll hold the, it'll hold the uh, whole wheel bearing, you know, off of there. It'll probably squish in, but I didn't like that. So what I did was I double nutted one of these things or actually four of them and I and I ground the head down on my on my grinder so now if you look at it it'll go in there and it'll sit flush see that it'll go back in that little hole and it fits just perfect so once I put the bearing in it'll it'll be flush so anyway that's what I did with those screws and uh, I'm going to uh, put my little lovely lovelies on here and put this wheel bearing back together now this is the first time I've ever done one of these so if any of you guys on the forum has a uh, has any comments on there or sees anything I did wrong please tell me so uh, I can warn Phil that his wheels are gonna fall off when he's driving down the road because uh, I'm not gonna do this again next time's on him there you go, Phil. Oh, I actually, I put some seat belts in this for you, too, Phil, just in case. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put this back together now. And uh, there's a little O-ring that goes around here. So we're going to set that back together. We're going to set that back on there like that. And kind of squish it back in there. And it should squish all back together. Like that. And there's probably going to be a little bit of grease that comes out of it maybe okay and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my screws in right now because they'll also slide through this cover so actually when this cover goes on then I know my screws are lined up right and they won't go through this one so it'll actually hold the bearing together right there like that and uh, let me get my little screw on there come on baby come on baby I'm on camera the other one on there and uh, all I know is that it's not dry anymore and I think it's probably hundred percent better than it was 
all the bearings look good I checked every one of them they're all in their little race they all look good so I'm gonna take my wrench here my screwing device run that one up snug come on come on baby and I'm gonna spin it around run this one up snug you can see it squishing together there and I'm actually gonna tighten it up a little bit I mean once you push it back in the in here and it bolts down it'll be tight but uh, I want to tighten up these little screws just to make sure that you know they don't come loose or whatever and uh, Dave Palmer told me that you know this is good to wiggle this way and uh, that thing spins around let me get a paper towel here and uh, sorry if the lights in everybody's eyes but I put some light on the subject almost fell off my chair that'd been good good for video huh and I'm gonna wipe the excess grease off of this thing around the edge there and uh, anyway what he said you want to watch for is you want to watch for in and out and this thing is nice and solid on there so I guess the inner race that's where it's pressed onto this uh, axle is in good shape we don't have any in and out movement at all and I know you could probably do it with the the thing but I'm gonna say that that's good because I'm not taking it off for right now and then I'm gonna stick my little dust shield back on there get it lined up a little tap with a hammer here and there ain't gonna hurt nothing get that puppy lined up I can probably pinch it with some pliers too once it's in place it'll it pinches it in between there so it ain't gonna go nowhere there we go okay that's good and then we're gonna put our little dust shield back on here give it a little tap in place not too hard because we don't want to bend it all up make sure our bearing still wiggles it does okay then and we can just shove that sucker back in there and bolt it up and uh, it should be good after that see that fits right in place then we got a nice greased up bearing okay the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, slap that engine in there now but I'm not gonna film that because everybody should know how to do that Mm -mm -mm -mm. where is my thing let me take the gloves off so I can say goodbye to everybody <laughs> my little Medusa's got parts anyway let me switch hats here this is Dave Motorhead and uh, I guess that's how you lube up rear wheel bearings on these things when they're on the car uh, it's gonna have to be good enough for now um, if one of these bearings goes bad Phil's gonna have to buy another one but I think it's hundred percent better than it was before and thanks uh, to Dave Palmer who's Corventure Dave on the forum for uh, giving me some tips and telling me how to do this over the phone so anyway uh, thanks for watching uh, and we'll catch you next time